here in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First now, pitch coming your way your next. 2023 Philadelphia. Here's Nico Horner. Leading off tonight for the Cubs. The second baseman. The 1 1. Horner. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And there's one away. Dansby Swanson stands in. Good contact guy, good defender. Check swing, went around. And it's one and two. Chris, when you think about Aaron Nola, he's one of the better pitchers in the National League. And you think about that curveball, really good pitch. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Dansby Swanson hits one out. Just like that, they move in front. It's one nothing. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Ian Happ up to hit. Next offering is fouled back. Yeah, and this is a guy that, you know, from an early age in the big leagues was kind of looked at as the ace of that ball club. Uh, a lot of weight on his shoulder. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Two outs, base is empty. Cody Bellinger, the next Cub to hit. And now it's one and two. And down on strikes. And that is that. Cubs draw first blood on this solo homer. It's now one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Trey Turner at the plate. Swing and a bouncer. Sends it to first. And they get Turner for the out. Batting second. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. That one's in there. And the count one and two. On the ground to third. Over to Hosmer. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. The catcher, Jake T. And up Real to the plate Muto. is JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. On the ground to the left. It's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those oh, drills yeah. you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. That's a ball. That misses. Two balls and a strike. That to right. Mastroboni makes the play. And that is that. Left on. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Top of the so second. So up now for Chicago, Ray. Trey Mancini. Mancini. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. 
Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Ripped on a line, and that's going to roll to the wall. And he's got a double. He was all over that one. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and... Back to the mound. Base hit, and a run comes in. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Yeah, the batter down. Patrick Wisdom. That one is absolutely belted. Marsh going back. Back some more. That's down. One hops off the wall. Hosmer around third. He'll score as well, and they lead by four. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. And yeah, the batter now, Miles Mastroboni. He makes the grab. Rounder tags it second. Not in time. He's safe. Back to the top the of the battle. lineup. Here's the a speed base. threat. Nico Horner. Nico. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Right hander kicks deals. Out to short. Turner with the throw to first. Out number two, and another run comes in. The bat. Dansby Swanson, the next cup to hit. He's already homered here in this one. The 1 1. This one high in the air to left center. Marsh on the move. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And that's. Back here at the ballpark, bottom half of inning number two. And stepping in is the speedy Bryson Stock. Bounced up the middle. On the run, throw to first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Showed us right there why he's considered one of the best middle infielders in the sport. That's always a tough play going up the middle on the backhand. But what really made this play happen was that quick release, smooth exchange, and that was as smooth as it gets. And it had to be with the wheels going down the line. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. One down, base is empty. Got him. Two gone. Here's Jake Cave now. The 2 1. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So they go quietly there. We head on top half of the third inning. Now the left fielder, Ian Happ. The left fielder, number eight, Ian Happ. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That was one of those swings. It feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went. Junior Marte will take over here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Marsh hauls it in, and there's one away. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Trey Mancini now reached on an infield single his first time. And one and two. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. The next two. offering misses. And that's ball two. It's a good take. Right through there, got him. And there are two outs. Here's Jan Gomes, doubled in his first A.B. Jan 
zone. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. So now oh, two oh, on and two outs. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. That one ripped left field. That's back there. Gone! That one felt good, and they throw three on the board. It's 8 nothing. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Patrick Wisdom leaves the yard, and they add to their lead. It's 9-0. Back-to-back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean... This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Oh. And here is Miles Mastroboni. Comes up empty, that's strike two. two strike. Lace to right center, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he'll turn for second. He's there. It's a two-out double. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Going to count one and two. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitter. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Bangs off the wall into second easily with a leadoff double. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Fair ball. Marsh coming home. He scores, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. He's in there. So now the DH spot, Kyle Schwarber. And the righty deals. Bounced out to short. Fires across the diamond. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. JT Real Muto steps in, and that's ball four. And now here is Derek Hall. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Flying around third is Turner. He will score, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Comes through with the RBI. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Tags the runner for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Dansby Swanson. Falling behind two and one. You know, these Cubs putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. 
And it's caught just in front of the wall. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now batting. Here's Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. The 1 1. There's the swing and a miss. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Connor Brogdon getting loose out there. The wind of the pitch. Crushed to right, and that one's going to lead the park. Out of here. Home run. Cody Bellinger blasts one out, and they add to the lead. It's 10 to 2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Connor Brogdon. Still pretty early in the ballgame, so this bullpen has some work ahead of them. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And it's off the wall. To second, but way too late. Safe there. Everything came together for him. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Castellanos brings it in for the third out. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. And now an eight-run lead at... Back here in Philadelphia, now it's the second baseman, Bryson Stott. And he deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Got it by him for the K. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off go. balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. The one-two. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. To the right side, corner. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Swung on, belted. Bellinger drop step going back. And that is gone. He powers one out to right field, and they close the gap. It's 10-3. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. Two down, nobody on. High fly ball out to center field. Bellinger makes the grab, and that's the inning. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Hosmer. The pitch. And Hosmer swings through it, struck him out, and one gone. Patrick Wisdom, the next Cub to hit. He's already homered in this game. And a pitch. In the dirt. Gets to it on to first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. The right fielder, number 20. Miles. Two outs, base is empty. 
Miles Mastroboni now at the plate. One for two. Kicks and deals. Jack swing went around. One and two. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. Gone. He blasts one out to right, and they add on. It's 11-3. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. Nico Horner, the next Cub to hit. And the pitch. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Save! Fantastic effort, but that extends the inning. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. One for three. And now one and two. Corner, the runner at first with two gone. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Turner now. The shortstop. 2022 turned out to be a banner year for Trey Turner. Won the Silver Slugger. He was the National League starter at shortstop in the All-Star game. And as well, 21 homers, 100 runs batted in, and 27 stolen bases. So here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber. 2 1 now. Hey. The pitch. That one just misses. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Good walk plate appearance there. Perfect. Able to take the walk. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. Struck him out looking. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, fastball firm to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. One out, runners at first and second. Righty to the plate. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a... Makes the play, and it's out number three. Phillies leave a couple. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Now it's going to be Ian Happ. Ian Happ. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Strike two. You know, these Cubs, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've seen how many line drive base hits they've been able to produce in this one. Six to be exact, and they've all been pretty loud. The punch out there, one out. Man at first, Trey Mancini, the next Cub to hit. Move to first, and he's back in safely. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to Turner for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Here's the second baseman, Bryson. The second baseman, Bryson.
Here comes the manager out of the Cubs. A new arm into the game, the righty, Mark Leiter Jr. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. And now it's Alec Bohm. The why to kick the pitch. That's inside, and it's two and one. And there's the strike. Here's a 2-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Here's the left fielder, Jake Cave. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And that just misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. In the dirt. Gets to it. On to first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Andrew Bellotti. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Jan Gomes waits. Now a check swing grounder. On the run, sends it over to first. And a quick out number one. Nice job of deception right there by the pitcher. Got the hitter out there a little bit. Couldn't check his swing and induces a nice little ground out. Now it's Eric Hosmer. The pitch. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Hosmer, at first, one gone. And now, Patrick Wisdom. In one the ball. dirt, blocked. No advance, good job behind the dish. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Rip to short. They get the force. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Cubs 11 and the Phillies 3. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the seventh, here's the center fielder, Brandon Marsh. The 1-1. Ripped to third and caught. Here's Trey Turner. That one drilled left field. Pat going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. That one to first. Hosmer takes it himself. Out number three. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman. Nico Horner. Nico Horner. Ball to strike. 
Swing and a miss as he was late that time. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. At the belt and fires. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. So digging in, Dansby Swanson, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And strike two. The one, two. Got him. Two gone now. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with... And he dodges that fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. And it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. And the right hander deals. Popped up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the third out. And welcome back. And here is JT Real Muto. 2 2 down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling now you what, pitcher and catcher on the, the same page down. right now. And here's the first baseman, Derek Hall. Righty delivers. Eight, two. One ball, two strikes. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the one case ball, right there. The one, two. Out to short. Tosses to first, and Castellanos is out. Out with room. Back here in Philadelphia. And that one is lifted in the air. Marsh moves under it. And makes the grab. And there's one down. Trey Mancini, the next to hit. The 1-1. Base hit, center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. One gone runner at first. Now it's Jan Gomes. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. And down on strikes. That's out number two. And now it's Eric Hosmer. Belotic checks on first. Mancini back on a dive. Here's a 1-1. And it's fouled away. Got him swinging. No runs, one hit, no errors. Welcome back, bottom of the nine. This is Bryce. The second baseman. Hands up. Right there. 
Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Adbert Alzola. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball three. On the ground, right side, corner. The throw to first, one out, bottom of the ninth. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. And a 2-1 on the way. That one missed. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Boom! The base runner at first with one out. Next offering is foul back. The one two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there, not much to it, and I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Is just one strike away in the air left field. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cubs slug their way to a win in this one. Well, a big win by eight runs. And when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W.